Welcome back, you guys. My name is Sarah, and I had such a fun time last time that I wanted to come back. But before we start our word, let's pray. Dear God, I pray that um, throughout this day and throughout this week, these kids receive guidance from you and that they feel and know that they are loved from you. I pray that as we go through your, your word today, um, you show us what you want to. And I pray that we are open to hear you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so some of you guys may be wondering why I have this huge Lego set next to me, and it's actually our next giveaway item. So on Sunday, October 25th, text this number with your name and then another word that we have learned from this crossword series, and then the next week we'll randomly choose a winner. Okay, awesome. Before we learn our word, let's sing our song. I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it out. Gonna tell the whole world that your love is spinning me round and round. Yeah, it's turning me upside down. I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain. I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away. So I'm finding our clue, aha. So for those of you who didn't get the coloring sheet, the clue is giving to God. But we already had the word generosity, so it's not that. Oh, I think I know what it might be. So if you guys can grab out your crosswords and then it's four across, I think it's T-I-T-H-I-N-G. Tithing. Yay! I wonder what tithing is. It must be something about giving to God. Let's figure out. Tithing is giving 10% of what you have to God. In the Bible, a long time ago, God's family had 12 different groups. They were called tribes. God set it up so that all the tribes would give some of what they had to the one tribe that was helping them have a relationship with God. See, God owns everything because he created everything. So he doesn't need you to give him 10% of what you have, but he wants you to join him in helping his family. And because you're part of that family, he wants you to trust that he will take care of you, even if you don't have 100%. And he will take care of you because you matter to God. You're back. So just like our clue said, tithing is giving to God. 
Now, it's very important to remember that everything we have is actually from God. So when we tithe, we are simply giving God some of the stuff that he gave us. Now, let's figure out how to tithe. Tithing is giving some of what you have to God. But wait, how does that work? I mean, you can't swipe a credit card for him. How are you supposed to give God anything? If you're part of a church, you can give money there. That way, you can do it on a regular schedule and always remember that God wants to take care of you. If you get money selling lemonade, you can give some of that. If you find money on the sidewalk, that would be awesome, you can give some of that. If you get money cleaning out the wad of hair that gets trapped in the front side of the vacuum cleaner because no one else wants to do that job, you can give some of that. God said in the Bible that tithing is about trusting that He will take care of you, and He will, because you matter so much to Him. That's easy, right? So all we have to do is give back to God. I know I can do that, and I know you guys can too. Now, I bet some of you guys are wondering, well, I don't have any money, or I don't have a job to get money, and that's okay, because first of all, God does not love you any less if you don't have money to give. And second of all, giving money is not the only way to tithe. There are many ways to give. And tithing should be more about putting your trust in God. So let's figure out why we tithe. Tithing is giving some of what you have to God. But sometimes it's hard to give up things, especially when you worked hard for it. Just like a lot of stories in the Bible, tithing is about something bigger than just giving money away. It's about believing that God will take care of you, even after giving away some of what you have. When you tithe, it means you are choosing to trust God. Basically, you're saying, God, I'm going to give this to you to show you that I believe you will keep taking care of me. And he will, he promised, because you matter so much. God doesn't need our money, right? More than that, he wants our trust and tithing is a simple way to do that. But remember, it is not the only way to show that you have trust for God. Now, I wanna show you a Bible verse and then I asked Spencer to come help me with something. So let's look in our Bible verse. It is going to be Proverbs and three, nine through 10. Honor the Lord by giving him part of your wealth. Give him the first fruits of your crops. Then your barns will be full and your wine barrels will overflow with new wine. Okay, so I asked Spencil to come back and help me show an example to you guys. Are you ready, Spencil? I'm so excited. Okay, perfect. So first things first, I'm going to give you 10 pennies, okay? Wow, I'd love 10 pennies. Perfect. Thank you. And I want you to remember that God wants you to give him one of the pennies, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, we have one rule, okay? Mm-hmm. And that rule is once you put a penny in the jar, you can't take it out. Can you remember that for me? That's easy. Okay, perfect. So the first jar is a God jar. Okay, I'm gonna remember that one. Okay, perfect. And this jar is for a puzzle. Oh, a puzzle, mm -hmm. I love puzzles. Oh, perfect. Okay, and this jar is for video games. Oh, do you play video games, Miss Sarah? I do too. I do, but I'm not very good at that, but you can okay. help me with it. I want to do that. And the next one is for a trip to Disney World. Awesome, I wanna go to Disney World. Perfect. I can't wait. <laughs> and this one is for a new eraser. Yep, my eraser's been having problems. And this jar is for paint. Paint, I love to paint. Would you paint with me, Miss Sarah? I'll put I a will. penny in for me and you. Oh, perfect. And this one is to buy a new picture book. Picture books, yes. Maybe I could even sign it. <laughs> and this one is for a new Lego set. Legos, I love Legos. You <laughs> gave Legos away today. I did. And then this one is for brand new cool shoes. Cool shoes, I need some shoes. Mm. I only have socks. Now, Spencil, I know you had to get your eraser fixed. So these next jars are gonna be for the nurse and doctor that helped you. Oh, they were so kind. Oh. I was so thankful. Thank you, nurse and doctor. <laughs> I wanna give money to them. Oh, that's oh. awesome. But I don't have any more money. Do you notice which jar is empty? 
It's the God jar. It's the God jar. I feel like I've messed this whole thing up. I thought I'd remember God, and then I got so excited about everything else. Well, it's okay, Spencer. You know why? Because you help the kids learn a new lesson. Okay. Okay? What's do you wanna... that lesson? <laughs> I need to know. Okay, so that lesson, do you remember our verse by chance? Yes, I do. It was a good one. Give to God. Right. And one of the things it talked about is giving to God first. Now, what would have happened if you gave to God first? then I could have given a lot everywhere else and maybe really made a better choice. Right, right. And sometimes giving to God first can help us know what we need and what we just want. Mm -hmm. So that's very important to know. So just remember, part of tithing is giving to God first, okay? okay. That sounds like it's easy to remember. Now, I think I think we have some new kids. Do you think we do, Spencer? <gasps> I'm wondering, do you think there's new ones out there today? We met a bunch last week. Let's <laughs> ask them. So if you guys are new, text this number to, with your name and new, and then we'll text you and send you our weekly mailers. Isn't that so awesome? Now, Spencer, are you ready to say bye to the kids? I'm ready. Hey, see you guys next week. Bye. Tomorrow, I build my life on everything you say.